Then Peter tells us how we use that gift. And it's basically in two ways. It's not complicated. Peter says, use whatever gift you have, administering God's grace in its very form. And then he tells us in verse 11, two ways that we do that. He says, first of all, he says, if anyone speaks, he should do it as one speaking the very words of God. So the way you're going to use God's gift, you're going to speak. You're going to encourage somebody. You're going to, you're going to compliment somebody. You're going to draw somebody out. You're going to correct somebody. You're going to discipline somebody. All of that is in the love of God. You're going to speak. You're going to say something. That's how your gift comes out. What was happening here up, up front uh, this morning is that people were receiving different words from God to encourage the body and encourage individuals. What did they do? They didn't come up here and do handstands. No, they spoke. And as they spoke, we got encouraged. That's how the gift of God comes out. Then the second thing that he says, following speaking, he says, if anyone serves, he should do it with the strength that God provides. So we're either going to speak or we're going to serve. Now, I think that the slot I have up above that verse says this. Your service to the body is helping out where needed. So the gift that you have and the service you do could be two different things. In other words, somebody just needs to be helped out. They need to be moved or, or there's a need for nursery workers. There's a need to, to set up for our 20th anniversary. There's just a need to put chairs in place and set up tables. That doesn't take a gift. Okay? It just takes somebody saying, sure, I can do that. And both of those are a blessing to the body. That we're not necessarily exercising our gift, but Peter also says, serve with your gift. 